one and a half inches on both sides and you do a little mark there and then you're going to measure one and a half on this side and do a little mark there okay and then we're going to measure let's see what is that again okay and then from this mark on both sides we are going to measure five and a half inches From this side here, we're also going to measure five and a half inches. Okay, let me make sure that's in tighter. All right. Okay, and then we are going to put a line between, oh shoot, sorry, <laughs> between these two lines and do, do the pencil mark really softly, that way it can be erased later. Okay, so then we got our line that now actually I kind of missed a little bit here, so I'm going to erase this. And give that another go. Actually, I'm going to do it this way so I can see better what I'm doing. Okay. Alright, okay, so I have my line there, and then we're going to measure three quarters of an inch on this side. Okay, three quarters of an inch there, and then we're going to measure three quarters of an inch up on this side also. So where we did our little pencil mark at, we're going to measure one, or excuse me, three quarters of an inch from that point. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to pause for a second, guys, and sharpen my pencil. Okay, pencil sharp. <laughs> okay. Take my glasses off so I can see. Alright, so now we're going to measure three quarters of an inch in. Right there. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we'll measure three quarters of an inch in on this side as well. Okay. 
Okay, and now we are going to draw a line between both of our three-quarter marks. Oops, I did not do that on this side. Hang on a second. So now <laughs> we're going to draw a line actually let me do it on this side between connecting both of our 3 quarter marks okay on both sides bless you Ariel that was my daughter sneezing. <laughs> and then we are going to measure um, what is the distance between that and that? Let me measure. I think it's four inches. I'm pretty sure. Yes, it's four inches. Okay, so now we're going to measure right in the center at four inches and just measure straight up try to like get it like in the middle and you know best you can it does not have to be exact okay and then we're going to measure four inches here and here okay and now we're going to only draw our line connecting these two marks right in the center of our two other lines so you're not gonna you're not gonna draw all the way to the edge seven inches okay so now what we're going to do let me make sure that that measures out correctly and it does we are going to draw a line between this little spot right here and again over here and just uh, measure it from seven inches up. That way you know you got it exactly where it's supposed to be. Just in case we went a little bit too far on any of our lines. So you're going to go seven inches up and then draw a line. Which is a good thing I did because, see, I was off just a tiny bit over here. Let me double check my 7 inch measurement over here. Okay, and I'm dead on. So, okay, so now we're going to measure from the very bottom of the page at 3 inches. And we're going to line our ruler up on the edge so it's straight. And we're going to draw a line here. 
Okay, and we're going to do the same thing over here at three inches. Okay, and we're going to draw a line. All right, so now we're going to get our scoreboard out. Okay. Also to this line right here, right in the center, I'll make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, this line between these two edges, we're going to erase that, that way we don't accidentally uh, score it on that line because you don't want to score that. Go ahead and make two of them because then what you're going to do is have a template and I'll show you how that works here in just a second also. So now we are only going to score up to this mark. Let me make sure and you guys can't see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. So we're only going to score from, from here to here. And um, I think it would be that one there. And from here to here. Okay. And then. Um, it shows that my mark is off a tiny bit from the three. So I'm just going to bump it right back over to the three inch mark. And I'm going to score it just from here to here. Just from here to here. And then on this side too. And how I... To get your... To make sure you're scoring on the right spot... I butt my ruler up against my up against my scoreboard and keep it flat and that tells me exactly where my score mark is so that I know it's this one right here and just score up to that line Okay, and then I'm going to flip it around. Okay, and I am going to score right here. Yeah, four. So, which is exactly on the four inch mark on your scoreboard. And this one lined up perfectly so I knew where I was scoring at. But if you wanted to make sure, just again, line your ruler up flush with your with your board there where your other score mark is and it'll show you where you score at on your board. Okay, and now we are going to score this mark here and let me check something super, actually I think I can get that one on the, this side. And it's at five and a half. So I'm going to line my ruler up with the five and a half mark because we're only going to score the middle part of this. Make sure it's good and flush. That way you get your line right. 
And if you have any of your marks or your pencil marks a tiny bit off, um, you'll figure that out once you get it on the scoreboard. I'm just going to make sure I got that right. Okay. All right. Okay, I believe I got all my score marks done. All right. So now I'm going to get my magnetic ruler out. And I love this thing, it's amazing. Because my mat is magnetic also. And it makes it so much easier for me to... To do this. Okay, so what you're going to, sorry guys, so what you're going to do, let me move this down a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this line right here from all the way from this bottom mark up to this mark right here and the best way easiest way to do it well I guess there's lots of ways you could do it but the way I'm doing it is with the utility knife
same on the other side. And don't worry if you got this marked up or whatever because this is going to be our template. This isn't going to be our final product. Okay. All right. Okay, so now we have this and what you're going to do is you're going to fold this like this kind of like an accordion fold and then the same thing just move it back and you're going to push this to the front the center to the front and you're going to fold that on your score mark and then these kind of just start folding automatically and then you have your card and once you get this like this let me make sure um you'll want to slide these center pieces here that fold in over to your edge and make sure everything lines up perfectly and same with that one get it moved over where it needs to be and then your card won't be wonky and then just grab your bone folder and give it a good smooshing on these two parts here first because once we get this done the rest is pretty easy to to get folded in correctly okay and now just run your get your guy all lined up straight and then run your bone folder on this little tab from the bottom up and then that'll get it creased just in the right spot and same thing over here and same thing over here and guys don't worry about if this if your papers kind of mingled up a little bit because this is just your template and then I'm going to show you how to do it using your template and then you just save this for all other future cards that you want to make um, I'm going to pause this real quick guys I'll be right back okay so um, once you have your template made just uh, keep it in your stash of goodies and then what you do is you take your uh, piece of eight and a half by 11 cut it in half down the uh, the long way so you want to cut it at four and a quarter and then line it up on your now let me see if I can't get this a little bit better on the Okay, so um, get it lined up on your scoreboard and put your fresh piece of paper down on the bottom and your template on top. Get it lined up. And then all you're going to do at this point is follow your score marks. So just, uh, so we're basically going to score everything and then cut it in a minute so score right there and here okay and then come up here and score you this mark and then this one okay and then come up here and score this mark And then you're going to want to flip it around. Or unless you're using one of the bigger scoreboards and you won't need to, but I'm not, so. 
And then you're going to score here. And here. Okay. And then you're going to turn it long ways with your shorter or your this side up. then where your cut mark is you're going to score that whole cut line mark there and here sure I got all my marks so now we have this okay and you get out our ruler and our utility knife again and get that lined up as best you can on that long mark between the two and just cut on your score mark Okay, all right, and so just do your, your cut marks there, and then you're going to uh, accordion fold this again here, and there, and then you're going to want to fold this part, kind of push these in and this up and fold it okay and then bring your edges in and don't push anything down flat yet. You want to make sure you get all of your edges lined up just right and kind of move that piece that's in the center over just a little bit so that it's uh, in line with where it needs to be. Okay, and hold that one there and then get that one where it's supposed to be. Hold them both. Grab your bone folder, which is right there. And get that pressed in good, and then do the same thing over here. Keep that held in place 
and then take your bone folder and run it up your side pieces and get them Pressed in and then do the same thing on this side. Okay, and then you're going to want to run your bone folder, hold your piece down flat at the bottom, and then run your bone folder up, just like that, and that way everything's folded exactly how it needs to be, and there you go, and it makes it in so so much faster and easier once you get your template made it makes making one of these cards a breeze because well you guys saw how fast it went and I didn't fast forward any of this so um, it's all in real time and it only took me just a couple of minutes to make this one once you get your original made and the original oops I'm sorry I need to bump that um, doesn't take a super long time either. So, any.
<laughs> okay. And the nice thing about it is it's going to fit in your A2 car size envelopes and there's not too many embellishments on there so it should mail very easily as well. And how cute. <laughs> I love it. I think that's adorable. There we go. camera to focus a little better. Ooh, there we go. That's way better, huh, guys? <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I hope you guys have an awesome crafty day, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!